It's time to talk about Stu Cowan's favorite player to talk about on this show, Cole Caulfield. Uh, what do you guys think of, of how he's, he's he played for the Canadians in the series against the Maple Leafs? I, I, the fact that there were games where Cole Caulfield was put into the lineup and he looked like the Canadians' most dynamic forward is kind of promising, but also kind of sad considering <laughs> the forward options the Canadians uh, went out to go get. What did you think of Cole Caulfield? Well, they finally put him in for game three. And early in the game on a power play, he gets fed the puck in the slot, and he rifles one off the crossbar. Bing! And I'm watching that, and I'm thinking, you didn't want that shot in the lineup or on your power play for the first two games? Really? Really? You didn't want that in your lineup on a team that can't friggin' score goals? You didn't want that shot in there. Even I look back to Yvon Cornway when he first started with the Canadians. He was a power play specialist. They didn't play him a lot, but they put him out there all the time on the power play. And uh, Yvonne Cornway, if I'm not mistaken, became a Hall of Fame player. Like, find a way, put him on the fourth line, Caulfield, even play him limited and put him out on the power play. You didn't want that shot on your lineup? Are you friggin' serious? And and the thing is, when they did put him out that, that first game, they gave him like nine minutes of ice time through the first two periods. Uh, now, then they double shifted him in the third period. Like, like, it's just, it's I'm, I'm like going oh my god like the Canadians have not had a dynamic goal scorer like this I mean Max Pacioretty was a great goal scorer and Montreal fans don't give him enough credit for what he did here but he was sort of a power down the wing in that shot here's a kid who just finds open spaces and fires the puck and then you know another game you know, you know the zone entries have been a problem for the Canadians he just took the puck one time and stick handled through like four guys by himself and brought the puck in you don't want that in your lineup. On the Montreal Canadiens, who can't score goals. Anyway, I've given no. I don't know. It, it's at least they finally did put him in, and uh, you know he looked good. And uh, you know whatever. I, I give up. Yeah. Stu just yeah. he even dropped a friggin' in that answer. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, no. Cole Caulfield has really taken this opportunity and run with it. Uh, that he had to. Oh, Fight. He was overlooked at the beginning to, to start the playoffs and then show that he earns that spot and that he could be a difference maker on this team. Uh, if you think of it, it's pretty remarkable. Only a few months ago, he was finishing up university, studying for exams, finishing homework, and there he is playing in the playoffs. And he's not intimidated. He, he's able to to look like he fits in. And uh, it was too bad that he wasn't able to get that goal in. The one that went off the crossbar could have been a huge factor for it. Uh, but I think that's a really good sign that he came out there and was able to take advantage of this opportunity. And hopefully this will be able to something that will uh, help his development going forward. And I think the charm has realized, you know, giving him almost 20 minutes last game that, you know, this kid can bring something, even though I thought game four wasn't as good as his game three, but he's got to, uh, he's got to be complimented by his teammates. I mean, Toffoli, Suzuki, Suzuki and, and Caulfield are starting to, uh, you know, uh, mix pretty well together, but we need Toffoli to, to get in there and create something too, because, you know, a lot of times, unlike uh, other teams, you got to have three guys uh, that are on the same page and feed off each other, and it's it's tough when you got a young kid like Caulfield. It's kind of getting bounced around with different combinations. But the bottom line for Caulfield is he's a skilled guy. He brings uh, a nice ingredient to the uh, to the team with his ability to get pucks to the net with a great shot. And you know what? Moving forward, he's going to be uh, he's going to be a huge asset, and, and he's going to do a lot of things. Uh, on the offensive side of the puck. Caulfield has proven himself at every level that he can score. That U.S. Mm -hmm. under-18 team, he broke the single-season record for goals that was held by Austin Matthews. He broke the career record for goals that was that was held by Phil Kessel. Uh, he went to the University of Wisconsin, and he led the NCAA in goals and points. He went to the Laval Rocket. He scored three goals in two games. He came up to the Canadians in the regular season. He scored four goals in ten games. Why would you not give him the opportunity to prove himself at the beginning of the playoffs that he could score in the playoffs? Don't get it. When you put it like that, yeah, why? Why not? <laughs> you know, it, I, I have to give it to you, Stu. You, you you rode that wagon for for as much as you did, and you're absolutely right. Like, I, I remember that shot in, in game, what, game three as well, and I thought, yeah, there's no reason he should have been out of the lineup. You're absolutely right. You deserve full credit. 
And I'll even go so far as to say that for next season, which may or may not be a good thing here, bear with me here. If the Canadians lineup looks similar to what we're seeing in the playoffs now, there's no reason you send Cole Caulfield to start the season in the minors. He's your he's a top six winger at this point on on this iteration of the Montreal Canadiens, barring any changes that they make in the offseason. But considering their 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 woes on offense, no sense benching Cole Caulfield, which again could be a good or a bad thing, but it is just really it was really surprising to me that this team was struggling to score goals. And once Cole Caulfield was inserted into the lineup, he was like a breath of fresh air for this Montreal Canadiens team. And yes, it speaks to how good he is as a player, but it also speaks to the lack of offensive talent this Canadiens team has had for years. Why do you think fans are so enamored with Cole Caulfield? Mm -hmm. It's because he scores goals. And this team has not been able to do that all that well over the last how many years? So I'll tell you what, if you're Cole Caulfield, uh, you know, regardless of how this postseason run goes for the Canadians, it's just you have to feel pretty good about yourself. And look at look how he's responded in such a short period of time. I mean, he's had a crash course in how to play in the NHL and now the yep. NHL playoffs. And, you know, he steps in there and he's gonna get better with time. It's just uh, it's a natural process when you've got a guy like that with that much skill and each and every game and each and every situation that he's put in, he's going to learn from it and he's going to uh, take advantage of it when it comes down to uh, doing the right and the wrong things. And a great kid and, and a great future uh, with the organization. You know, one of the biggest problems with the is have too many forwards who work hard, which is good, but can't score. <laughs> can't score. That's bad. Now you got a guy, look off, he works hard. He's quick, he backtrack, he works hard, and he can score. Yeah, so Canadians need more of that. Let us know in the comment section uh, how you feel about Cole Caulfield, just generally, I guess, whether postseason, <laughs> as a player, as a person, he seems like one of those... Uh, you see that video, I think, before Game 4, where he like, tried to like jump and like high-five Joel Edmondson? That was pretty funny. That was pretty funny. He's got a nice yeah. smile. He's got a good smile. Yeah, could, yeah. You know? Being a just, crest commercial. Yeah, just just everyone watching this video, just write something fun about Cole Caulfield <laughs> or Bilbo, as he's affectionately known as. And while you're doing that, subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel uh, for more fun stuff like bonus videos, full episodes. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all we really have to offer on the show. It's good <laughs> content, though. And also check out HockeyInsideOut.com to check out our full episode. <laughs>